Hello everyone, today I am starting the book Fourth Wing. This is like, I thought this was like a special version because it's all fancy and painted, but this is like the fifth version that my library bought. So I was like 50th on the list to read this. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to read this in 2024, but it arrived. So I guess people have been reading it super fast. So I'm like super skeptical about this. Like I didn't go in and like think, oh, you know, this is going to be the best book. Like I, I've heard like negative things about it. So it's like, mm, I don't think I'm going to like it. So that's kind of like where I'm coming from. So I have started a little bit of it, like the first 50 pages. And so it is super easy to read and it's very beginner friendly for those who are new to fantasy. So that's true. So yeah, it's very easy to read and follow. So it's definitely a book for people who've like never read fantasy before. But yeah, it's super easy to read and like engaging so far. So I'm very curious to see how I like it. So I'm going to keep updating you as I go through this book. So it is nighttime. I'm on page 60. Um, so far, I really like how they're at war, but they're also like in the classroom setting. So a lot of times you have like one or the other, like you're at war or you're like in the academy, but this is like both going on. So it has the action the excitement and then also has the academic side, which if you're like me, you love school as academics, it's kind of interesting. So, you know, you get the academic side and then the practical application and you know, you get to figure out the classroom dynamics with all the students. So that is just, I'm just at the beginning. Nothing crazy has happened. But right now I'm on Team Dane. So I hope that's how you say his name. But we shall see. I'll update you later. Hello. So I'm like randomly updating the blog. I'm on page 85. And like... I like it. It's very, like, easy to follow, very easy to visualize and everything. And I know what's going on. This good. But I'm frustrated by the enemies to lovers. Like, I'm at the part. Well, there's a part. There's multiple parts where she's confronting who's supposed to be her enemy, who's supposed to kill her. And they're just joking around. Like, if you hate someone, you're not going to be, like, joking around with them like your buds and, like, messing around with them like you're not gonna build a relationship with someone who you're planning to kill and like you is your enemy and you hate them so it's it's not really giving enemies to lovers and then she doesn't even think of him as an enemy and like he's not even like threatened by her so why is he why is she his enemy? So there's no like animosity I'm getting from this book. So like I kind of know what relationships are going to form, but I'm just not getting enemies so far. But anyway, I'm enjoying it. I've been like reading during classes. So, so I'll update you later. <laughs> he's gonna kill and he had the chance to kill her why didn't he try it's just like where's the enemies
So, I'm at page 100. Oh. Wait. I just realized. <laughs> There's a couple pages left of the chapter. But, um, there's like a not enough <laughs> real attempts to take out Violet, but like the threat that's like holding the tension through this whole book. So I'm curious um, to see what's gonna happen with that because it's like my main complaint with the book so far, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's really easy to follow and understand. But I'm not absolutely loving it yet, but it is pretty good. Okay, I have my hoodie on now. So I just hit three book icks. Uh, I'm like right after page 100. So like I said, it's like the book keeps saying, oh, he can kill me. Every single page says he can kill me and there's just no attempt to kill her. I'm like, what, why are we even like running with this falsehood? Like he's not even interested in killing her and like, why is this a part of the book? Yeah, it's like a little cringy. And then he's like, I have to teach you. I have to teach you. Like, why are you teaching your enemy if you hate them so much? Like, this just doesn't make sense. Like, he just, he had a hundred chances to kill her and he's not tried. It's just like every single page is like the same thing. And then he's like, you're tiny. It's like her character trait is that she's tiny. It's like. I'm like almost six feet tall, so that is not doing it for me. So I'm hitting some book icks, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> All I want is the real enemies to lovers. It's like, just have a little part of the book where the enemies aren't attracted to each other, just for like a little bit of the beginning. Then you set up the enemies. She's like insta attracted to him. It's just like, can we have it, them be enemies first? It's just like, they're attracted to each other from the very beginning, so there's no enemies. It's like, I don't know, this is not delivering on enemies to lovers at all. Okay, I'm gonna walk home now. Yeah. So I'm on page, I don't know, 250. So I have some problems with the book, so I like it. But I have like two problems. So I want to talk to people who've already read the book. Like I wanted this video to be for people who haven't read it, but no, <laughs> I just have questions. So people who have read the book, I don't understand why Violet and Zayden are, their like fates are together. Because like with the whole, enemies set up it just doesn't work because Zayden's like the first thing we learn about Zayden is he's gonna kill Violet immediately and then he, he's taken no opportunity to do so and then he's tell he tells Violet because of the dragon you picked everyone is gonna try to kill you so why wouldn't he support the people trying to kill her if he wants to kill her and their enemies. So it just makes no sense. And like, I feel like if the author wanted them to be intertwined, they could have like bonded to the same dragon or something. I just don't see the connection. And they had such a nice enemy set up just to waste it. And it's like, they're not enemies. There's no like knives to the throat or anything. And all he does is help her. And like, you guys are not, enem you're not acting like enemies at all. So I'm like very frustrated by a total waste of like an enemy's plot. And like the logic makes no sense. Like why is he protecting someone that he's supposed to kill? So that part just makes no sense. Other than the the messed up enemies plot, I just I like the book, but I just don't like Zayden and Violet together. I think I don't like the couple. They they didn't even act like enemies at all at the book. And I'm like, that's such a waste, like a missed opportunity. And this is a multi-book series. So in the first book, they could have actually been enemies. And then the next book. So I don't get why they're working together. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So please explain that to me. <laughs> but other than that, I really enjoy the book. Okay, I'll update you.
in a bit. just finished this breath but first I had to sneak in part two continuation of September wrap up don't skip I'm gonna be like really fast so I read Seven Days in June by Tia Lorenz which I would give four stars and Kingdom of the Cursed which I would give three stars so um, Seven Days in June was really good but it used too, way too many modern references and it talked about social media and pop culture just way too much that so just ruined the book for me so all authors just don't put social media in modern day references it's going to look terrible there are just some really bad lines like the male lead said i put the hug in thug i'm like come on kid you just don't need that so i just there are a lot of things about the book i didn't like but what kept me I don't know, I liked the overall concept, I liked the mother-daughter relationship, daughter relationship, and um, yeah, and check trigger warnings for that. So that's probably all I'll say for that book. Really enjoyed it, but it was cringy at times. And Kingdom of the Cursed, I'm going to be really short with this book. It's the second book in the series by Caroline Scalpin. And it just felt like a filler book. Like, I don't think anything significant happened in that book. That's kind of all I have to say about the campaign. So now, for women. It's, this is October 3rd or something when I'm filming this. So it's the first book I finished this month. Um. So basically, I'll start with negatives. The tropes ruined this for me. So it had perfect enemies to lovers set up that it didn't make any use of. If they took the enemies part out of this book, like I feel like nothing would have changed. Neither of them tried to kill each other. There was no knives to throw. He just helped her the whole time. They just liked each other the whole time. There was no enemies. It was very disappointing. Waste of the enemies set up. Um, so my and then so the love triangle was not subtle enough. It was just like ridiculous. Like it wasn't overbearing part of the story, but it was just one of those love triangles where like she's not interested in the other guy at all. Oh, that's kind of a spoiler. Um <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say this is a spoiler video. Um and so basically Violet female lead's relationship with the male lead was just too fast, too underdeveloped. And if you're gonna have multiple books in a series, we could have put the romance. What they sh I think she should have done was put more enemies in the first book and then more romance in the second book. It would have had enough time and it would have been fine, but it was kind of rushed and kind of underdeveloped for me. And I just didn't like how the love triangle was there for no reason that could have been taken out. The enemies to lovers was there for no reason that could have been taken out. So just the tropes were not good, but it like I didn't love it, but you know, it I read it pretty 
like I got through it pretty quickly, like relatively with me like doing school and stuff. Um, so you know, it says something when I can get through a book without it taking like an entire month or two. So that says something. It was really interesting and engaging. I liked it. Um, I didn't love it, and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna read the next book because it took. Like just the entire summer for me to be able to get this from the library. So if I have to wait for the second book, I'm probably not going to wait <laughs> that long for the second book. So anyway, so I would give this like three and a half stars. I don't know, 3.7. I don't know. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> like I liked it, but I don't love it. So my voice sounds weird because I had to wake up early for class. So I'm like sleepy. <laughs> So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, I guess I don't know if the next video you might see some vlogs from me, and then I'll probably do a wrap up for the end of the month. So thank you so much for watching.